Hey, what's up, guys? Just wanted to share this quick observation um, about the Packers and the 49ers. So I'm looking at the uh, records, and currently the Packers are 1-1, one and one, and the 49ers is 2-0. and zero. And it looks like the Packers may win because of the numerology aspect of this. So what I'm going to show here is the number 21. So if San Francisco loses, they'll become 2-1, and one, making the Packers 2-1 and one as well. The reason why I'm even saying 2-1 and one is because when you spell out Packers, right, just using... English ordinal just to get the a one number on the screen here for you make it simple Packer sums to 73 the 21st prime number now I'm pretty sure that's not the whole of the riddle there's a lot more to it I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to it but I wouldn't be surprised if this was gonna be the outcome in a way um, so yeah, you know, venture down that path and try to see what you guys can find on your own. You can visit this Gematronator calculator, gematronator.com, and you go to the tools tab and you can select your date durations in your calculator. So pretty interesting 76 date numerology 76 date numerology you just play around you know But yeah, generally, that's what you want to do is just play with things back and forth. Look at that. San Francisco, 76 on the 76th date in numerology. So. I mean, it is really complicated to figure this stuff out. I know that you do have to look at other things like... For instance, if they win tonight, the Packers, what what victory is it? I don't see. I don't know if it's just. I mean, obviously, it'll be. You know, the record right now is. Um, the record right now for the twenty twenty one season is one and one, but I don't know about the overall record. Green Bay Packers. I guess you say what well, all time record. So the record win loss is the seven hundred and seventieth wins or seven hundred seventy wins, five hundred seventy eight losses, and obviously thirty eight ties. So I mean, I would look for things like, you know. If they win tonight, is 771 a prime number? Let's look. It could be. It could be part of the riddle, too. So it's not. Hmm. 579 if they lose. So it's not there, but maybe maybe if you spell it out too, it could also there could also be clues like that. But a lot of the times you gotta look at the um, the all time record and you know let's spell it out. Seven seventy one.
61st Prime, huh? But sometimes, again, you know, I don't really sports decode. I'm just making some observations based on the 73 and the 21. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to look at, um, I mean, it goes either way. So the 49ers all-time record. So, like, you could look at that and see if there's any gematria behind it. 49ers all-time record. 591. So they could stay at 591 wins. So let's see if there's a prime number there with 591. Huh, no, huh? Strange. So that's what I'm trying to say. All right, guys, look. I know it took me a while, but look at this. So if the Packers win tonight, right, against the 49ers... The 49ers will stay at 591 wins. And when you spell out 591 in reverse ordinal gematria, you know, well, reverse full reduction gematria is 96. And it just so happens that today is a day that leaves 96 days left in the air. It's also pretty interesting. I know this is a little... Uh, left field right here but it's the one day in the year September 26th is the 269th day of the year and today can be expressed 26 slash 9 I think that's like the only day that I've ever noticed that happening I know that's kind of way off of what we're talking about but isn't that super interesting how 591 which is the number the San Francisco 49ers can stay at if they lose on the 90, on 96 days left in the year. It just so happens to sum to 96. So that would be another nail in the coffin for me. I mean, when you see things like that, it's kind of hard to deny it. So, and there it is again, 591. 73 it goes along with the 21 see easy peasy lemon squeezy baby easy peasy lemon squeezy all right guys i wanted to just jump on here um i don't i'm not a professional sports decoder so you know but i'm pretty sure that's how the stuff works you have to look at the records and you know that saying do i gotta spell it out for you so, there's a lot to it, guys. There's a lot to it. There is a lot to it. Huh. 62 is interesting. Yeah, you know, uh, 
I guess you can go back and forth and do it that way. Um, you could check it out. See, Packers are up another seven points since we had this conversation. So enjoy the game if you're watching it. And just remember, 2-1, 73, the 21st prime number.